Oh my god, so freaking cute. Secured the goods. It really means nothing in the end. Hello you guys, what is up? It is currently 11 o'clock and I'm going on a date, obviously with Joel. It is our four year anniversary today, so it's May 20th. We've been officially dating for four years, which is crazy, but at the same time it like feels kind of like even longer than that. Like it just feels like kind of like forever, but it's four years. So we're going on a little bit of a date today. It's a beautiful day. I'm so excited. So I was just kind of like, why don't I show you guys like the makeup I'm gonna do and you guys can get ready with me. Cause I feel like I never really show myself like getting ready for anything. So I'm gonna run you guys through a quick makeup tutorial that I'm gonna do. I'm not really like that good at makeup. This is just like what's comfortable for me. So <laughs> beware if you take any of my tips. I just started by putting this Australian gold tinted sunscreen on. It's 50 SPF. This is so like the best sunscreen I've ever used. It has a high UVA protection, which is amazing. Lays perfectly on my skin so that's what I just put on and then now I'm just gonna run you guys through the rest of the makeup. I've been using this concealer for like a long time now it's lasted me so long. This is a born this way multi-use sculpting concealer by Too Faced. I really like this. It matches like my skin tone so it's not like a brightening effect but I kind of like it like that. I don't really like to put too much makeup on like I haven't worn foundation in so long because I always just stick to like a tinted sunscreen with concealer because I've just been literally digging the natural look lately so that's what we're doing today. So yeah I just take the concealer just like literally Literally like that, put some on my nose, and then that's basically it. And then I blend that out. And then I basically just take like the remainder of the concealer on my beauty blender and just like bring that up to my forehead. Okay, and then that's literally it for the concealer. And then after the concealer, I go in with this. This is by L'Oreal. And this is basically supposed to be like a contour slash concealer stick, but I just got it in a dark shade so I can contour with it. Yeah, basically. Just go like that, put some at the top of my forehead to contour and bronze that. And then the other side. I've been literally just using cream products on my face recently because I feel like it just, it lasts longer and it lasts throughout the day and it also looks a lot more natural. So I just take my beauty blender again, blend that out. I'm gonna tell a story about how me and Joel met real quick if you guys are curious because I got a comment about it and I explained it briefly in the comments but I'm gonna like give you a more full story. So we both went to different schools and a few times a year my school like hosts school dances. Some of like my friends from my school were friends with his school, vice versa, and one of the guys in my grade invited some of the guys from Joel's school. So Joel came to the dance and that's how we met. At the dance and it's funny because I wasn't even going to go to that dance because I had had like a soccer game that day like a school soccer game and I was just so exhausted and I'm like oh I don't know if I want to go and my friends were all like no you have to come like it's one of our last dances of the year because I was in grade 11 so I ended up going and it's, it's just like so funny how everything literally worked out because Joel wasn't supposed to go either but then he ended up getting like a last minute ticket and then yeah that's how we met now we're here four years later which is absolutely crazy never settle for anyone you will know when you find the right person and when you find the right person you're not gonna doubt anything that's when you know you found the right person just be aware of that and know that y'all are all worthy so never settle i'm just gonna go in like just lightly again and then blend this out again okay so now that this is all blended out i like to skip straight to my eyebrows and then do blush it's really weird i don't know why i do that this is the eyebrow pencil that i use it's from elf i don't do anything much to my eyebrows whatsoever i literally just brush them up take like the pencil side and just very lightly fill them in if there's any sparse areas does anyone have this problem? Like my hair is constantly falling out. Like it's not like actually like falling out in large amounts, but like hair is everywhere, man. Especially in the bathroom, hair is everywhere. Ooh, oh, oh, nice catch. Wow. Okay, so now what I do is I take the Morphe X Maddie Ziegler blush. This is like one of my only blushes. I don't really own much makeup to be completely honest. Like I have very minimal makeup. The only concealer that I have is the one that I showed you guys. I just don't own much, which is fine with me because like I'm not a big makeup guru or anything. So I take my blush and I put it kind of like that. And then I just take this Real Techniques brush that I've had for like 10 million years. And I just blend that blush out. I used to not wear blush, but trust me, blush is a game changer. If you guys don't wear it, try it out because I didn't want to and I did and I'm like, holy shit, like I should have done this years ago. Okay, so now that my blush is pretty much blended out, I'm gonna move on to my eyeliner. So I used to use eyeshadow actually as eyeliner with just like an angled brush, but now I use just like this brown Annabelle eyeliner. It does the job. I don't know how I do it, I just do it. Like it's not very good, so I'm not gonna give you guys any tips because I really don't know, but let's go. 
Okay, so I just did my eyes. So this is like one of my all-time favorite mascaras. This is the CoverGirl Clem Crusher. And then I just obviously curled my lashes and put that on. Now I'm literally just going to take some translucent powder with like a tiny ass brush. Take some of that and I'm just put it on the sides of my nose here. This is where I get the most oily. So that's like literally the only part of my face that I really set. I usually set my brows with clear brow gel, but I literally can't find my brow gel. So just imagine like I did that. And then last but not least, I'm going to put some lip liner on. I just do this very lightly. This is just a random lip liner of the brand Annabelle from the drugstore. So I just did that very lightly and then I take my fingers and just like kind of blend it in to my lip. And that's literally all that I do. And that is going to be my makeup look for the tonight's date night. I'm gonna let my hair down. I'm just gonna leave my hair like this, put in some dry shampoo. Okay, so that's the hair and the makeup. I literally just brushed my hair out, freshened it up. I'm just gonna leave it straight. And yeah, okay, let's pick out an outfit now. I think I have an idea of what I want to wear already. You guys, I'm just so excited for today. It's such a beautiful day. Sending positive vibes your way right now. This is really fun getting ready with you guys. I should do this more often. Okay, I came into my mom's bathroom because I feel like the lighting is just superior in here. She actually has windows, but I think I'm gonna wear this brown dress from Zaffo because we're not doing anything like extravagant. I'm gonna bring you guys along so you'll see what we do. But since it is a beautiful day, outside i'm gonna wear a dress i think so yeah let's put her on okay i really want to do one of those cute like transition moments where you go snap and then like the dress is on okay Three, two, one. guys i'm obsessed with this dress it is so freaking cute and i feel like just perfect for the occasion i've been so obsessed with brown lately i just love the color of freaking brown oh my god and the slit that it has here oh my god so freaking cute i will have this dress linked down below for you guys oh my god this is this dress is literally adorable. Okay, maybe I'm gonna like go to my room and add some jewelry, put some rings on or something. Yeah. Happy anniversary to us. Okay, so I just put on like some rings. Oh my god, my nails are so ratchet. I need to get them done, so don't mind my nails. But I just put on some rings, and I don't think I would put a necklace because I just kind of like how it's like plain. And I think I'm literally just gonna be basic and wear this with my Air Forces. But I'm also gonna bring like sweatpants and a hoodie for later tonight because we're gonna watch the sunset. So I'm definitely gonna want to change out of the dress eventually. Okay, here's the final fit. I'm wearing this cow print purse. It's actually not mine, it's Madison's. It goes really well with the dress. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw my Air Forces, and that's it. And then I also got like a bag of clothing here just in case. I need to change into it later. Oh god, this hoodie is really skinny, but I don't really give a shit. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys, it's 2.30. Long story short, we had to make so many stops on the way because we're driving Madison and Kaisha, so my sister and her friend, we're driving them because they're going away for the weekend. So we're driving them to her friend's house and we have to make so many stops along the way because Joel's sister just graduated. She just passed her nursing exam test, so she's officially graduated. So we just bought her bottles of champagne. We're getting her balloon right now. And there's just so many stops along the way. Also Starbucks, of course. I got an, um, a grande oat shaken espresso. This is so good. It's not as sweet as like I usually would like it but I don't know why I just still love it even though it's not that sweet just so much shit going on right now stressful times but yeah so it's actually raining right now but it's gonna stop it's nice okay it's the only one they have cute <laughs> zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, you guys, so we just got to Ikea. I'm here because I really want to buy like a clothing rack and they have one for literally $15, which is so cheap. So we're gonna just snatch the clothing rack and then get out of here and continue on with the rest of our day. So I think I'm gonna also get hangers because I only have black hangers at home. So I kind of want to spice it up for this clothing rack to make it look a little more cute. So I think I'm gonna get like two packs of these. They also have like white ones, but these are like not as nice. And then they have black, but I already have black, so I might as well get like bamboo-ish color. Okay, I decided to mix white and bamboo because I didn't see the white. Like th these are like a different type of white. They're like a thicker ones than like the last clip that I showed. So I'm gonna mix those on the clothing rack and I feel like that will look really good and match my room really well. <laughs> oh, that's where you're going with that. <laughs> Got it. I can't wait to set this up when I do my trial hauls. They're gonna be fire. Okay, let's go. So many stops, you guys. I need to explain everything in the car. Secured the goods. Got Joel holding it all back there. Just a slave? Just my slave, because it's our anniversary. Just kidding, that's so bad. He's not my slave, I promise. Okay, so basically, we literally had to make 10 million stops just to get to this destination. We're not even at our final destination yet. Oh my goodness, it's been, how long has it been since we left the house? It's been like five hours. We left the house hours. at like one, 
140. It's been three hours since we left the house, you guys. That's how many stops we made. Like, oh my goodness, but I'm just relieved that stops are over. We got what we oh needed. God. Now we finally get to enjoy our date. The date has begun. The date has begun now. Three but hours. my energy is depleted. Three hours <laughs> later. Um, but now what we're going to do is we're going to head to White Spell because it's already four o'clock. So we're just going to get dinner. No indoor dining is open here where I live. And we want burgers. Yeah. And like, I don't know what to say. Like vegan burgers. So we're going to White Spot to get the car hop. They just came out with their Pompey's burgers. So I'm so Two excited. Two years ago they came out. Two years ago? Yeah. Shut up. I don't Shut know where she's up. pulling this info from. Uh, because you were like, oh, they have plant-based burgers. So I was like, oh, that must be new. Oh my God, okay, I'm on crack right now, apparently. Anyways, so we're going to White Spot now and then we're gonna go like to the beach, to the park and watch the sunset and have a good time now that all the stops are done. So I'll see you guys when we get our food. Okay, you guys, so we just got to White Spot. We're not doing like the car thing anymore because of COVID, it's just like too complicated. But they have like an outdoor patio that we can eat at. Um, I ordered the Avocado Impossible Burger. So it's like their plant-based option. And I'm so excited. We're so hungry. I got it with fries. I'm so excited. And it's also a beautiful day, so. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Can't wait. All right, you guys, so we just finished dinner. It was delicious. We were so hungry because we hadn't eaten until breakfast. We had oatmeal for breakfast, and that's literally all that we ate today. So we were ravenous for food. How quick did we eat that? Holy cow. We literally chomped. Like, we were not in there for more than an hour. Oh, but are you kidding? We weren't in there for half an hour, I don't know. Yeah, we, like, got our food, and we munched it down in less than 10 minutes. I'd say we both guzzled it down. And yeah, a whole milk milkshake, too. Vegan-inspired. Let's not forget. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to the park. I'm probably going to change out of the dress once we get there, to be honest, because it's actually kind of getting more chilly now because the sun is like behind the clouds. But if the sun is like not behind the clouds, it's like warm. But then once it goes behind the hot the hell once it goes behind the clouds and it gets like chilly which is right now so i might have to change into my sweatpants once we get there but we'll see but yeah see you guys there also i literally forgot to shave my legs because i haven't worn a dress for so long okay it's been too long since i wore a dress and my legs aren't shaved so it's fine you can't notice it from far good from far but far from good all right so i just typed it into the gps here's our little here's our little route that we have to take it's like 20 minutes away which isn't that bad but we're literally going to like the edge of vancouver here yeah so we're going pretty pretty far out here but it's gonna be worth it because i don't think i've ever been there before so it's gonna be cool okay let's go Okay guys, so we just got to the park, Whitecliff Park. I changed because it's actually kind of cold now since we're, especially since we're by the water. It's kind of chilly. This was really far out. I've never been here before, but it looks literally absolutely beautiful. So I'm so excited. Okay, Joel's currently literally in the porta potty. I got changed again back into my, Joel, I got changed back into my dress because I forgot. Joel. I got changed back into my dress because I wanted to take some photos and I totally forgot like I didn't even get a chance to take photos in this So I definitely want to take photos and then I'll change out of it later on But we were like down there and it was pretty warm. So I'm totally fine in this for now But I'm definitely gonna change like later Put all my weight on this little stick hey. uh. oh. <laughs> You guys were like down the street from the park and the houses are overlooking the water here they're absolutely amazing and beautiful. It's such a gorgeous area here. Oh my God. Just so quiet. Yeah, just very peaceful and quiet and you're by the water, so nice. Give me love, give me all your love Oh, cause I want you this way don't know what you do hold my hand could you hold my hand look me in the eyes you and me yeah that's all i need and i'll be all right i'll be right here i swear that i'll stay here with you Oh 
Okay, so we just finished up at the lookout place. The sun is like just about to set. It was absolutely beautiful. You can see literally Vancouver City. Like it was so beautiful. So we're gonna head home now. And I just wanted to do a little bit of a moment with Michaela. What's on my mind right now? And I was basically thinking like a lot of our life, like we focus on materialistic things. We focus on what house we're gonna buy, what car we're gonna buy. We want the best house. We want the best car. We want the best designer purse. You know what I mean? And it's like in the end, none of our materialistic things Things are coming with us when we're dead like we're not bringing anything with us and so many people are focusing more on materialistic things rather than what's inside and trying to make up for it with like materialistic things and to me that's just kind of sad because in the grand scheme of things the only reason why money exists is because of society like we made money and it really means nothing in the end like when you die no matter how much money you have it doesn't mean anything because you're not taking any of that money with you obviously we all love our fancy things you need money to eat you need money to live nowadays but it's just very easy I feel like to get caught up in that mindset of just caring and absorbing yourself in materialistic things it's so important to realize that that it's not all that matters in life what's in here that really matters and working on yourself working on spreading love and obviously like, I want to buy a house one day maybe buy a nicer car but I realize that that's not gonna bring me happiness in the long term money can buy you temporary happiness I believe it can but in the long term, I don't believe that it can make you happy. Money can't make you happy because you decide how you feel and you can change your mindset. You're the one who controls that despite having money or not. In the end, you're the one who controls your mindset. And I don't believe that money can forever make you happy in the long term. So just remember that in life, it's so important not to get caught up in all the materialistic aspects of life and realize that when you die, you can't take any of it with you anyways. True happiness can only come from within. It's like so many people are like, oh, if I had this so much money I'd be happy but it's like okay maybe you'd be temporarily happy but you're never gonna be fully fulfilled if you can't find that happiness within yourself first so yeah that's what I was just kind of thinking of looking at the view I was like isn't it crazy how literally we created this society with money like in the beginning it was just forestry all over crazy how it went from that to like money like it's, isn't that weird like you know what I mean like we created this society so crazy and it's like not all the richest people are the happiest people and that is so true you can meet a homeless man that is a hundred million times happier than the richest man ever and it's like how does that make sense but it's because you gotta find the happiness from within you guys work on yourself but yeah we're gonna head home we have about like an hour's drive okay I'll talk to you guys later happy anniversary babe happy anniversary what you wanna do I'll do anything As long as I can be here with you Everything's alright I'll be right here I swear that I'll stay here with you 